Hey guys, Paradox Cubing here, and here I have a package from cubes.com, and it should contain the Shankshaft cube and some other stuff. So I'm really excited to try out the Shankshaft cube because um, Shankshaft has made some really good products, and um, the cube should be hopefully good. So let's check it out. I also have some other stuff in here. I'm not. Sh I'm not sure what I have. I think it's like the Along version one, uh, a mini version of it. So let's check it out. All right. So here we have this, and we have some more stuff here. Okay. So here we have um, a Dino Cube. That's pretty cool. And then this is. This should be the Moyu Along. And then here is the Shang Shao cube. So this is what I'm most excited for. Um, so Shang Shao released some really good cubes, and hopefully their cube is really good too. I've heard some stuff that the cube isn't that good. Like some people tried it out at nationals, so hopefully that's not true and actually pretty good. Okay, so to be honest, this is my first cube. I've never owned a cube, which is kind of surprising because I've been cubing for more than two years now. And I'm really excited to start learning how to skew. So for my general first impressions, like I don't even have a landland skew, but I know like a landland skew is really clicky. I have a landland curvy skew, and I've tried people's skews, but um, this is like really clicky. It has I'm pretty sure the ball bearings are really big and like the holes for them, so it like really clicks into place. In order to do a full like smooth turn, you have to use a lot of force. But um, it really clicks into place. Like if I just flick it, it'll just click into place. So that's pretty cool. Um, I guess the turning is pretty good. I think they have torpedoes in this too. I don't even know how to open this up. There you can see a ball bearing right there. I think this has torpedoes, so popping shouldn't happen that much. Um, I'm just going to quickly scramble it up. I've, I've solved this cube a couple times, so hopefully I remember how to solve it. Anyways, that's the Shang Shao cube. Uh, it's pretty good turning. I'll probably do some solves on this. Like I'm just a, I'm a very beginner for like cubes. Like I've only done a few solves, so I'll probably have a solve video at the end of this video if you want to check it out. So, anyways, uh, that's the Shang Shao cube. Let's move on to other stuff. So, let's just open this um, quickly. Okay, so this is uh, a dyno cube, and a dyno cube turns from the the corners, the vertex, and it's pretty cool. I've always wanted a dyno cube, and here it is. So I'm really interested by these type of puzzles. Um, they're really cool, and as you can see here, it says SMAS right there. It just has uh, the word SMAS embedded into the plastic. It actually it has that on like. A lot of them. See, it has it here and here, but it doesn't have it here. Um, anyways, the turning is really stiff and very dry, so I'll definitely have to lube this. Um, I'm just going to scramble it up. Apparently, it's really easy to solve, so hopefully I'll be able to solve it pretty easily. The turning is very smooth, but it is kind of hard to turn, and it's a bit stiff, so definitely it needs some lube. So that's what it looks like scrambled. And also the quality doesn't feel too cheap, but um, the plastic is a lighter plastic and I've noticed on a bunch of cubes, lighter plastic is usually like the cheap kind of bad plastic um, on a lot of cubes. So, but um, I'm not really sure about this. I think it just needs some lube and it should be fine. It also corn cuts a bit too. so. Okay, not that much, but like, never mind. <laughs> yeah, corn cuts a little bit. And, yeah, anyways, that's the uh, Dino Cube. Now let's check out this. So this is, this should be the Moyu Along version 1 Mini. As you can see here, uh, I, li I like this box too. Anyways, let's check this out. Okay, so I was really excited to see this cube because uh, the colors are, are bright and everything. They look nice. I really like the blue in the pictures, and it looks really nice, so it has that dry, sandy feel again, and it's really cool, so 
I got this mostly because uh, I like how the colors look on this. They look very bright and very nice. It's just very pleasing to look at and just looks a like a really nice cube overall. And not only does it look nice, it also turns very well too. I'm also getting into one-handed a bit and I think this will be very helpful to help me one hand. So yeah, it's basically just like the Outlong version 1 except it's just mini. I currently use a mini Waylong to one hand, so I'm not sure if this is better or if the Waylong's better. But this feel is very nice, and it's very easy to do moves with. Although I'm, I am really bad at uh, one hand right now. I average like one minute, so I'm not that good at one handed. But uh, I'm practicing a lot more recently. I'm gonna learn some new algorithms, and yeah. Anyways, uh, that's it for this unboxing. If you guys want to check out some solves, then uh, stick around and. Yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.